All right. We are, uh, we're doing something. I don't remember. Lake Valor, I guess, is where we're going. Aha! That's what we're doing, I knew it. Can head down there. Apparently we're about to get some lore. So. Um, Team Galactic was blocking this path before. I'm assuming they're gone now. Either that or we have to fight them. How are, how are my Pokemon? Uh, I should probably go to the... <laughs> probably actually go to the Pokemon Center before we do anything. Just in case. We were in the underground um, last stream. We were just kind of messing around. But... That's probably not going to be on the archive channel because we didn't, we were just kind of digging and stuff. You give up after 20 crunches, even though your goal is 100 crunches. I mean, if you can, like, just add a little bit every day so if you can get to 20 pretty consistently and then just like add one and then and then add two the next day you know what i mean you'll eventually get there it's hard working out is hard that's why it helps to do something fun so i mean if you love crunches go for it but if you can also find something fun That'll help motivate you. Torian brandy, triple filtered, then introduced into the suit through an emergency induction port. That's a straw, Tally. Spawn, thank you so much for the $50 tip. Think about you guys a lot. Oh, that's so sweet, Spawn. Thank you so much. Spawn, what is your favorite milk? Chocolate, regular, or strawberry? Now, regular could also be like almond, oat, etc. If that's your fancy. I don't know if you remember this, but there's black and white picture of your hair where you say you got that Marjorie Tyrell aesthetic and though I don't know who that is I really like the look of how it looks on you. Thank you, miss. Strawberry yum. Yes. Love for strawberry milk. I take it you got better. I, I'm, I've still got a little bit of a cold going on but um, I'm not feverish which is good. It would just be nice to kick the other symptoms. Would love that. Alas, it was not meant to be. At least not yet. We'll put Spawn right there. Fever is generally the worst one. Oh yeah, it was. It was not a fun time. Thankfully, it broke pretty quickly. It's just sort of like the annoying, like tiredness, coughing, you know, sneezing, that fun stuff that's left over. But yes, it, it could be a lot worse. I'm just cranky. <laughs> I'm just cranky about it. I'm good, Wolf. Thank you, though. I think we need to go in here.
Oh, look, it's Team Galactic. Oh, and a Magikarp who's not in the water. Haha, -ha, next stop, Lake Verity. The closest thing to civilization out there is that hick town twin leaf. We can roll in there completely unopposed. Thank you for telling me your plan. Appreciate it. Hey, buddy. Can I not, like, put them in balls and save their life? I, I mean, they're just, they're, they're clearly dying. Can I not do anything about this? Would you like to join the Magikarp and flop around in the mud? Is that a threat? Use you. Team Galactic Grunt. Alicious, he's still not feeling well. These guys set off a bomb that somehow drained the lake of all its water. And somehow the Magikarp are fine. I mean, not fine, but not blown up. You guys really need to branch out. You, you don't have a lot going on in terms of Pokemon variety. Uh, er. We set off the Galactic Bomb! <laughs> its blast force was phenomenal. I'm sorry, but the Galactic Bomb... You guys, I don't want to spoil it, but Eco has agreed to join me for uh, one of the days of Twitch Miss. We have an idea. I hope you guys, I hope you guys like it. Monday was the worst day so far. 12 hours of intermittent bursts of sharp paint. Where? I'm so sorry, Lacious. Today, ironically, one of the better days. That's good. So many doctor's appointments because they can't figure out what it is. Hi, Lockhart. Is it House of Ashes? It's not House of Ashes. Well, that's a good guess. We need to buy House of Ashes. We don't actually own it. There's going to be a lot of surprise games, Kayla, for Twitch Miss. Different game every day. At least one. Sometimes with retro stuff, it ends up being more than one just because for the length of a stream. Uh, this poor Magikarp. Um, you know, streams being almost four hours-ish. One PS1 game doesn't always fit, you know, if we get bored or whatever, so... At least one new game every day for Twitch Miss. We can suspect horror. I mean, it's a kind of horror. Oh, it's a stomach issue. Got a little bit of internal bleed. Oh, gosh. They're concerned about for some reason and they can't stop it? Gracious, I hope you're okay. Tulip Part 2, Electric Boogaloo. You guys know we would play a Tulip sequel in a heartbeat. Can we expect more Godforsaken Scooby-Doo? I need to find, like, I need to buy more Scooby-Doo games. I think I've played all the ones that I have, so I have to actually go and find them. <laughs>
All right, was there anybody up here? Or are they all over here? There's one. Are you kicking him? You bitch! How dare you? It looked like she was kicking them. You leave the Magikarp alone. It's not their fault. Poor Magikarp. Why am I not allowed to save them? What do you want? I want to save all of these fish. You one of those nitwits we fooled into guarding the entrance? It doesn't matter who you are. It's too late to make a difference. Things are going to get really interesting now. All the legendary Pokemon are going to be brought to our HQ in Veilstone City. Yeah, I bet. Those legendary Pokemon are going to eat you. The mission is proceeding without a hitch. The boss should be pleased. Everything is for everyone and for the good of Team Galactic. Hey, I recognize your face. No, you don't. You've never seen my face. You're the child who's raided the Team Galactic building in Eterna City. Huh, Jupiter should be ashamed of herself. Being beaten by a child like that. You should all be ashamed of your fashion and your hair. But anything and anyone that opposes Team Galactic must be crushed. And the very thought of opposition will not be tolerated. Okay, well. What is this devil horn hairstyle? All right, bye. Oh, it got grosser. It somehow got grosser. His hair is the same as Mandy in Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. She made it look so much better though. It looked far better on her. Bronzor. <laughs> she had the headband and wore it with more confidence. Yes, yeah, she did. Why did you only shape half of your hair like the moon? <laughs> I guess that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like a crescent moon because Team Galactic. All right, well. I guess it's better than the bowl cut. If you get promoted to commander, you get a slightly better hairstyle. <laughs> Yeah, even I, a commander, only managed to buy us time. But that's fine. A child like you will never be able to stem the flow of time. Team Galactic will get the three legendary Pokemon of the lakes. With their power, we will create an entirely new universe. By now, Mars should have captured the Pokemon of Lake Verity. Mm-hmm. All right, well... There's nothing in here. The more you're promoted, the more you're becoming the demon you always meant to be. It's like a factory defect Sonic hat. It does kind of remind me of Sonic a little bit. So I guess there's nothing I can do for these poor fish. So I need to go to Lake Verity. Oh, that's the that's where we kind of where we started. Okay. I fly. Isn't that where the um like me spirit and stuff is? Am I remembering that correctly? 
How do they explain this lake getting fixed in like three hours? Good question. Hi. Ah, oh, Kita, what timing? Those Team Galactic scoundrels are after the legendary Pokemon. Kita, hurry, you gotta help Lucas. I mean... Okay. Oh, surprise bowl cut. Well... Okay. <laughs> Flame charge both? No. Fine. Alright, Dwayne. Wayne, nice work, nice work. I keep trying to get Nyx to catch up, but... She can't. We have two now, I guess. a goal bat. Oh, and great. A butt. I mean, they, they are definitely stalling. That's true. You can't sucker punch a rock. Or sucker punch the rock. Would advise against that. But you're too young to understand. Understand what? Your dumb plan? I don't even think you understand your plan. Okay, so Lucas is up there, so we got another double battle, I assume. I'll knock your Pokemon into orbit. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna have the same Pokemon? Yeah. You sure are. Okay, they have three again. Well, Lucas might be dead by the time we get over there.
Okay, can you guys get out of my way now? I have things to do. I, I have two gyms left. All right. Hello. It really doesn't look threatening in chibi form. Hi, Wildcat. That face, it brings back bad memories. I'm talking about the Valley Windworks. I caught a whole lot of trouble for that little incident. What's with that look on your face? You do remember me, don't you? I don't. Fine, whatever. I'll tell you who I am again. How embarrassing. I'm Mars, one of Team Galactic's commanders. How cute. You two think you can save the day in your little game of hero? Not a chance. Not even a teeny one. You're all going down. Okay. I'm sure. I think her hairstyle might be worse. What's it even supposed to be? I'm not getting the theme here. Oh, I guess Lucas is gonna do nothing. That's fine. Fair enough, I guess. To be fair, I didn't know who she was. It would have been fine without the horn in the middle. <laughs> Yeah, the horn is really what... That's the biggest issue here. Lucas is useless. He's done nothing. Or ugly. Hmm. Is that dark type? Or is it just normal? Is he more useless than Flubbin? No. Oh my gosh. So Eco started playing Pokemon Shield. He hasn't played a Pokemon game in a while. And I was telling him he should try shield because I think he'd like it. And he's like, he starts the game and he's like, why don't you like hop? Like, why do you hate him so much? And I said, just wait. He's always there. And then he starts playing the game and every five seconds hop appears and he's like, I get it now. Like, yeah, I told you. I told you. bitch sound like you're feeling better uh i i am marginally like i'm still i still got cold symptoms which is fun but it's just taking its time leaving I just missed Hop Slander. Probably went back to Mars. <laughs> that cat is a chunk. It is a chunk. I'm not a fan, personally. It sort of reminds me, it's like the cat version of Snubble and its evolution. Oh, 
that sucks, Tim. I lost again. So first it was the Valley Windworks, and now it's like Verity that I owe you for. This shouldn't be happening to a Team Galactic Commander. Well, calm down, Mars. I've done my part in all of this. My mission was to transport the Lake's Pokemon to our HQ. That's right. I accomplished my mission without a problem. Team, we're pulling out. Well, the boss is waiting at the HQ, ma'am. That's some phrasing. Pokemon of the Three Lakes are connected somehow. Thanks to Saturn's grand staking at Lake Valor, a cavern appeared here. It was the cavern where the Pokemon Miss Spirit slept. Miss Spirit appeared too, probably to go help its friends. That worked out well for us. It was super easy to catch. I doubt that very much. So now we've got them all. Miss Spirit, the being of emotion. <laughs> the being of emotion. Azelf, the being of willpower. Uxie, the being of intelligence. Now that we have all three, you can look forward to what Team Galactic has in store for them. I see. This also occurred at Lake Valor. You did nothing too, Rowan. Another legendary Pokemon was taken away by Team Galactic. Well, shit. Both of you went up against full-fledged criminals. The fact that you're unharmed is reason enough to celebrate. I is it? What about Lake Acuity? Is Flubbin the third safe? Let's hope not. Thank you for sharing your plans and awkward phrasing, Mars. Yeah, wasn't that so nice? Oh god, it's all the way up here. We haven't been up here yet. Ugh. Uh-huh. We gotta travel up a mountain. Wait. Oh, so I think I if I go there, I can go up. Pokemon villains really have a bad habit of monologuing. They do. When we get to the point where we've caught Dialga, can we do a quick trade? Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's fine, Umbrowns. Let's hope Flubbin dies. <laughs> Take out Boyne. Let's walk with Boyne. He's fast, unlike poor Lockjaw. Mm hmm. That was delayed. Dang, Bidoof. Yeah, so I think I think I can go this way now. Maybe. Do I have strength? Like that I can use outside of battle? I think I do. Yes. Do you get the legendary Umbreons? This thing. The I really don't like this Pokemon. <laughs> really don't. But we got Boyne. I know you think you're cool, but 
Wait, this is the way out already? Mm. Oh god. Not these guys again. You like Metacham's design? Metatite's just meh. More like meta tidy whiteies. I don't like monkeys, but I really just I I don't like his design at all. Monkey or not. He looks like a diaper onion. Got him. You have to get the seventh badge, visit Lake Acuity, finish the Galactic Veilstorm building, and then climb the mountain. Oh my god. A lot. So, so <laughs> diapy on. <laughs> well, since we're gonna be fighting a lot of battles here, what is your favorite Christmas special? Like TV Christmas special? Eco and I were talking about it in the car the other day and we're gonna try to watch a bunch of them specifically cartoon ones and then rank them just like we're doing with our animated batman movie watch see i'm not thinking of like i'm not thinking of like um, The Grinch, like something like that. I'm thinking more of like a TV show's specific Christmas special. You know what I mean? Does that makes sense. Muppets Christmas Carol's moving theaters. Yeah, I mean more like, um, like Hey Arnold has a Christmas special. You know, Rugrats did a uh, Christmas. They also did one for Hanukkah, and I think they have a Kwanzaa episode as well. That's more of what I'm thinking of. Yeah, like it, you know, a Christmas episode. Pretty much. I'm strong, 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 I'm strong. Am I really? No, I am strong. You go with those uh, affirmations there, buddy. <laughs> I don't know, I have a favorite Hanukkah special, which is Rugrats and Kwanzaa, which is Rugrats, but Christmas may be hard. I I don't remember the Kwanzaa one, but I do remember the Hanukkah episode. The two that first come to mind were the Fairly Odd Parents and the first SpongeBob specials. Yeah, the first uh, SpongeBob Christmas special, definitely. Definitely has a special place in my heart. No, you were talking about it and I was saying I hadn't seen any of them. That is what Eco says. And he has it. He, he doesn't... <sighs> he missed out on a lot of really great shows. Edda and Eddie. Oh, that's a good one. Fairly Odd Parents one where it was Christmas every day, you mean? Probably go with Simply Christmas Party from The Office. Is that the one where they play Yankee Swap? There's a couple Christmas Office episodes. I remember that I like Christmas episodes, but don't remember Christmas episodes that I like. That's fair. All I have is a Space Ghost Coast to Coast Christmas episode, but I'll need to look it up for the title. A Space Ghost Christmas. Yeah, the Hey Arnold Christmas special is really, really sad, but it's like really heartwarming. I'm gonna make Ika watch it. 
It's really good though. The Invader Zim Christmas stuff was great. There are a couple good Simpsons ones. Simpsons, all of them. That's season two, yes, the Yankee Swap one. I do like that one, but Michael's such an asshole. I mean, it's Michael, but like, I just feel really bad for Phyllis in that episode. The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy was fucking bizarre, but also a must watch. Oh, I should watch that. I remember Dexter's Lab had one where he like kidnapped Santa Claus. <laughs> Cause he's trying to prove he isn't real or something. Rocco's Modern Christmas. Ooh, I'm sure I've seen that. I don't remember a lot from Rocco's Modern Life. The only Christmas episode I really remember is the early season Supernatural Christmas episode. Futurama Christmas episode with John Goodman. I need to make a list. Of course, I then have to find all of them. Which is going to be difficult considering everything is on a separate streaming service. Like, I tried to look up Ed, Ed and Eddie, and it said that it's on HBO Max. Why? Of all the streaming services. Why is Ed, Ed and Eddie on HBO? The Powerpuff Girl Christmas with the butt ugly Santa. X-Men had a Christmas episode too. Oh, did they? Oh, this is Celestic Town. Okay. Well, I, I made it back here. Totally on purpose. HBO is owned by Warner. Oh, really? Who owns Cartoon Network? I mean, I guess that makes sense then, but... Game of Thrones, Mad Men, Ed and Eddie. Oh, Justice League has a really good Christmas episode. It's very sweet. It doesn't even have my favorite characters in it, and it's still really good. Come on, Boyd. All right. Time to go this way, I guess. The Phineas and Ferb special was good. The songs were meant, but the actors clearly had fun with it. They accidentally go back in time and bust the ghost hunting Scrooge. And when they get back, they wiped out Christmas. Wait, what? Ghostbusters? <laughs> I didn't know Ghostbusters had a show. You know, I think I'd watch the new Dexter season if it had a Christmas episode where he killed Santa. <laughs> Damn. Batman the Animated Series also has a good Christmas episode. Um, how do I use this again? I mean, I can do it that way, I guess. Oh, I didn't know the Ghostbusters ever had a cartoon. Interesting. Forgot about the Ghostbusters cartoon. It was in the 80s. 
And then there's extreme Ghostbusters because it's so cool and edgy. The real Ghostbusters is based off the movie, just Ghostbusters is from the 70s. And really weird. <laughs> hmm. Well, I learned something new today. Oh, Ether and I watched two more Batman movies to put on our list of Batman movies that we are rating. We watched uh, Batman Gotham by Gaslight, and we also watched The Batman vs. Dracula. <laughs> So, no. <laughs> they have a gorilla ghostbuster, what? Eco sounds enthused. Gotham by Gaslight was a lie. So Eco wanted to watch that one because it was steampunky or supposed to be steampunky. It's really not. All it was about was Jack the Ripper and it was, mm, I didn't like it. Neither of us liked it actually. Um, it was really just, hey, this guy is killing women and It was not fun to watch. It seemed boring. No wonder they called it Gaslight then. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that one. I mean, Catwoman's in it, sort of. I mean, she's not like fully Catwoman. She has her powers, but it just, eh. Wasn't great. Would not recommend. Kind of on par with Batman Ninja. Batman Ninja was probably worse, but, uh, eh. No, no, Jack the Ripper was active in actual steampunk times. This was 20 years later in America, and it's not steampunk. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's even a comic series about Batman fighting Dracula and becoming a vampire. Um, yeah, so it's called The Batman vs. Dracula because it's in the series of The Batman Animated Series, which is not the same thing as Batman the Animated Series. Anyway, it wasn't that bad. It was alright. I wanted it to be more stupid. <laughs> I was kind of hoping it would be more ridiculous, like, funny. Um, okay, so we can go up that way. It was... Hmm. It wasn't ridiculous enough for me. This is a dumb mechanic. I didn't mean you, I'm just upset. That's okay. You can be upset, it was disappointing. I think Eco was hoping for like steampunk gadgets or something. And yeah, it was just about Jack the Ripper. And I would love to tell you who Jack the Ripper turned out to be, um, but that would spoil the whole movie. But at the same time, part of me wants to <laughs> because it was stupid. <laughs> Peter Stormare voiced Dracula, so that's a sound casting decision. Yeah, he did. He did. Do it. I've seen that clip and I went, lol, that's dumb. What, you saw the clip of... Jack the Ripper? In Batman? Is that what you mean, Tim? Wow, Jack the Ripper was the joke. <laughs> it wasn't the joke. Oh, there's someone skiing. <laughs> Are 
you okay? Sir? Sir? I think this, this person's having a problem. Oh, you saw a clip of figure... Okay. I've seen that clip and I went, lol, that's dumb. Yeah, it is. They set it up to make you think that somebody else is uh, Jack the Ripper. Which would have made more sense. Um, but no, I guess that person is just an asshole. And instead, it's somebody else. And you're just like, okay. <laughs> There's too much I hate women because they're whores nonsense. Yeah. It, it was a lot of it was it was a lot of that. It just wasn't fun to watch, and I feel like for a Batman movie, that's kind of what it should it should be fun. Which is why I ended up liking the Batman vs. Dracula more, because it was more fun to watch. Even if it wasn't like an amazing movie. I think my favorite one of the ones we've watched so far is Under the Red Hood. And then the Long Halloween Part 2 would probably be my second favorite so far. But we still have a bunch more to watch. Spoil the ending. Alright, alright, I'll spoil the ending. If you don't want to be spoiled for this random Batman movie that's animated, uh, plug your ears. If you're watching the VOD, skip like a minute. So, uh, it's it's Gordon. It's it's uh, Jim Gordon, and there's literally no, like it just kind of comes out of nowhere, and it really they were setting it up to be Two Face. Um. Which would at least make sense because, you know, Two-Face has, like, another personality and, like, you know, um, and is evil. So, it would have at least made sense. But I really feel like they just wanted to shock you, so they did, but then it wasn't really satisfying. And it was just like, well, what was the point? Um, yeah, it, w it wasn't super fun. Also, like, uh... All of the Robins are in the movie as kids, but they're, they really don't serve much of a purpose, and it feels like they just threw them in there just for the sake of throwing them in there. I was like, why, though? I don't know. I didn't really care for it personally, but... There are a lot of other Batman movies to watch, so... I think they did just throw them in. Yeah, Joker, he is. Um, I don't... I can't answer that question. Yeah, he's a religious zealot for some reason, and he hates women. Yep, that's pretty much what they did to, to Jim Gordon. And I'm like, that's not fair to Jim. He deserves better. This is the Danger of Alternate Universe one-offs. Hey, let's throw, throw this twist. Yeah, that's really what it felt like. And I just... I'm okay with, with the person you think, who you think is the villain being the villain. I'm okay with that. We don't need to keep, like, we don't need to try to make it, you know, some shocking twist. I would have been okay with Two-Face being the villain. Under the Red Hood is good. Yeah, I don't I don't necessarily mind if it if it's dark. Um But Yeah, this just wasn't fun at all. Under the Red Hood has has some fun moments. Also, the characters were fun. In Gotham by Ga Gotham by Gaslight, there's not a lot of fun characters like that you really I would say Selena is slash Catwoman is probably the best but even still it's just like me wasn't great in my opinion anyway so I'm not sure what we're gonna watch next Nice job, Blaine.
Oh, I have another question. Like, why? And Ika looked this up and couldn't get a clear answer. Sometimes Barbara is Gordon's wife, and sometimes she's his daughter. I don't understand that. Like, in this, I'm pretty sure Barbara was his wife. So, I don't... Like, I don't know if it's the same purse, if they're just using the same name. I don't really understand. Yes, there's two Barbara Gordons historically. So is she named after her mom, or? I just found that confusing. Somebody who knows comic, the comic verse is gonna have to take that one. Is she a junior? Cause. Yeah, we were trying to understand that because there have been two movies so far that we have seen where she was Jim's wife. And I, I've only known her as his daughter, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could do that. So she is named after her mom. Okay, that makes more sense because we were trying to like understand that because in Go Gotham by Gaslight, I don't think he they have children or if they do, they're not really, you don't really see them or anything. So I'm like, wait, is this supposed to be his wife or his daughter? I don't, okay, that makes more sense. They're both named Barbara. Okay, that makes, that makes a lot more sense. That's a cute little lodge. However, sometimes they're made into the same character or amalgamated oddly. Huh. Hello, small child. Or, I, I guess not small. You looked like a small child in the grass. And now you just have a creepy mind. <laughs> Why the hell didn't the wiki just say that? Yeah, Ika was just confused. Well, now we know. And I guess it's my turn to pick a Batman movie because Ecos have been bad. <laughs> Jim just calls all women Barbara. <laughs> really want a Catwoman series of animated movies, but I doubt it would happen. That would be pretty cool. Do you guys have a favorite animated Batman movie? I know a lot of people like the one with Mr. Freeze. And it's called Heart of Darkness? Is it called Heart of Darkness? Or is it called something heart, I thought? Sub Zero, that's what's called. Only ever seen Mask of the Phantasm, so that's the one. I've heard that one's good too, though. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything over here. 
before I head that way. Haven't seen any. Batman and Mr. Freeze Sub-Zero is amazing. Yikes, it got scarier. It looks like it has two whoopee cushions. Really enjoyed Dark Knight Returns, Justice League New Frontier. Pretty sure we have all of those. Giant grabby hand. Justice League Doom is great, though, not strictly Batman movie. Do you love Return of the Joker, even if it's Batman Beyond? I have not seen Hush. Hey, buddy, you should probably put some, like, a coat on or something. I don't know if your muscles are going to keep you warm. Like the OG Superman, Batman, Justice League cartoons. Oh, I, I like the cartoons a lot. We've just been going through our movies that we have because we have amassed quite a collection of them at this point and we have not watched them. So we are working on watching them. Dare you insult my muscles like that? Lunatic use. <gasps> Snover. It's a bummer that ice types are always introduced like later on in the game. You can't really get one to start with. I feel like they should change it up. Let you get an ice type early on, you know? Wow, Thunder Wave only has 90 accuracy? For some reason I thought it was 100. I'll skip it for now. You got the Ice Cream Cone as your third Pokemon in Shield. Yeah, I think you have more opportunities in like Sword and Shield to get Pokemon, but usually 
the ice like town is towards the end or like around you know the seventh or eighth badge maybe you have a star that becomes part ice in its second stage or have the region be based on a tundra that'd be cool Somehow forgot about Batman versus Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Is that a good one, Dalton? on the hippo weird you out? Oh, I think the hippo is cute. His evolution is terrifying. Okay. I'm just in the snow now, I guess. Alright, we got a skier over there. Probably someone hiding in the snow over there. Are you a ninja? Yeah. They send a child into the blizzard and now there's a child living in the snow. Yeah. I'm tired of seeing this Pokemon. I'm tired of it. Everybody has it. I hate it. Burn. Done. You have a zoo bat too? Snow is eventually going to get very deep. Ski school. See, they kept that mechanic. I guess so. I 
that a gold deck? I kind of thought he'd have all ice types. They seemingly didn't change too much to the core game. I saw somebody say that the um, Poke Radar is better for shiny hunting, but I don't know how so. Snover. Oh, Snover's part grass, isn't it? How many Snover do you need? buried in unpacked snow got stuck up to my hips in snow oh jeez I do not want to ever have that much snow <laughs> that is too much just got one Pokemon you got Snowbird. <laughs> well, okay. How is that thing faster than me? You went to Yellowstone in the winter. I remember getting stuck in a hotel once with chest deep snow in the parking lot. That'd be terrifying. Can I? No, I can't. <laughs> I was gonna try to use my bike. Not allowed. Oh, jeez. Mm, because it's not hailing enough. Hello? Oh, while I was fighting my way through the blizzard, I dropped a TM and had to move rock climb. Well. The National Guard had to rescue all the people stuck on the Lakeshore Drive in Chicago who got buried because it came so fast during rush hour. Oh my gosh, Tim. Oh, well, I found your TM and I'm not going to give it back. I probably have to beat this gym before I can use it. Person up here. Small child, how have you not died from hypothermia? I have questions. He's in pajamas. He's not even in like a parka. He doesn't have a coat. You're going to lose all your fingers. If you try to return it, he gives you something? Oh. He lives the way of the ninja in the snow.
Well. Kid, put a coat on. Oh, he got blown away. All right, I gotta go try to return this. Oh, the Naruto cosplayer stuck in the snow with hypothermia? An icicle plate. Thanks. That seems important. Hi, DJM. Uh, sir? Sir, come back! There are definitely some corpses under this snow. I'm just saying. Good job, Razzle. Yeah, I like Mantike. Prefer it to its evolution. Bye, Sneasel. Sneasel has a pretty cool shiny. Oh, we got another house there. Uh, I don't know if I fought this one. I didn't fight you. How many people? Did I fight you? No. Goodness gracious, there are a lot of trainers. How many bodies are on this mountain? A lot. Shuffles through the snow, exactly. It'd probably be handy if you had Chimchar who could just like walk through the snow and just like melt it. But then you would find all the dead bodies. So. Hmm. 
There's no way Flubbin made it through this, right? Like, Flubbin probably died somewhere here. doing out here where's your coat you all could use coats they just clean out the corpses in the summer That karate man has the power street fighter on his side. Well, it's not doing him a lot. Check out this house. If I can get there. I did fight you. Yeah. A person, a rare sight. Thank you for visiting. A gift. Belt egg. Thank you. Creepy lady. This boulder is encrusted with ice. It's bone chilling to touch. What? Is there something special about this boulder? Nice nasal. Probably Glaceon? Hmm. That would make sense. At least she's dressed more warmly. I think an Eevee needs to level up in this route to evolve. Hmm, okay. do you think it, ac it actually takes to travel by foot through a Pokemon region? I feel like it would take nine months to a year on your first go, but then again, some people think that they do their journeys in the length of a summer vacation. Mm. 
Summer vacation, that's not a long time. I think it would take quite a while to traverse. How oh, is that flower still living up here? Well, it's not now. Oh, we made it. Thank you for putting it out of its misery. You're welcome. Training, catching the right Pokemon for transportation, etc. Yeah, especially if you're gonna do the gym challenge. I don't think you could do all this in a couple months. I mean, maybe if your Pokemon knew fly, if you're a walking. Yay, Snowpoint City. You okay? Candace is teaching me about Pokemon? Well, you're just sitting in a hole. Aw, Torchic. I wanna trade for your Torchic. Psyduck is this? Is that your Psyduck? Ma'am? There's nothing here, and that's what makes us unique. Uh, that's one way of looking at it, I guess. Oh, I thought you were gonna give me clothes. She's like, why don't you wear something warmer? I mean, I... <laughs> I don't have a coat. You know a trendy saying? Electrode. You know how everyone says electrode? I've lived in a town like that, it's horrible. Only the chosen may enter the snow point temple. The cho chosen by who? Candace, the Diamond Dust Girl. Diamond Dust, I'm pretty sure, is a Keyblade. You can buy winter clothes in Veilstone. I think she gives you stickers or something. Oh, really? Well. Fine. Go buy winter clothes. Since I can fly here now.
Come on, boy. Let's go get a coat. Let's get a coat and look cute. This is so expensive. This outfit is hideous. Also, winter style. You can be wearing a skirt in the winter. Keep your damn stickers. Alright, we'll wear the platinum outfit then. It's a little warmer. Slightly. Yeah, the leather jacket is fine, but I don't like the winter outfit. No thanks. Not spending 50,000 on that. Hated the snow gym as a kid. <laughs> Well, are you ready to be upset? I see people wear flip-flops in the snow. I hate that. Ah! Well. You feeling the chill of fatigue? I was confused. flip-flops and weather that was much too cold not anymore tentacle okay yeah sneasel's pretty cool Yeah, that was a pretty, pretty good quote for that, wasn't it, Wildcat? <laughs> okay, so now, to ch this is gonna be interesting. The gym leader looked like a six-year-old. I'm sure she won't when I actually get there, but her chibi makes her look like she's six. Tentacruel isn't an ice type. This gym lies. This is false advertising. I would like to complain to the manager of this gym. Can you imagine the parents that these gym leaders have to deal with? My son came in here with his Pokemon, and his Pokemon are very well trained. And I think it's bullshit that you didn't give him a badge even though he could not beat you because he sucks. Oh boy. Well... You slippy sliding all over the place. Is the gym's trick floor making you a little hot under the collar? Ma'am? Ma'am! Ma 
That would totally happen, right? <laughs> Man, we're playing as a 10 year old. Yeah, this is a kid's game. Excuse you. Way too over leveled. My team is at level 66 and I haven't done the Elite Four. I've been evolving Pokemon for the Pokedex and things got out of hand. Well, Umbreons, this is why. Hey, buddy. Get out of here with your sturdy. Well. Delix does look very top heavy. Kind of surprising the Steelix doesn't just fall over. I guess I did fight you already. Mm. Mush. It's too cold. I can't even feel my tongue. Okay, well... That seems like something you should take up with the gym leader. I mean, these do seem like poor work conditions. shock. Hmm. I do like Venishock, but I don't really want to replace... either of these with it. I can always relearn it if I want to. 
Cynthia has I am the manager energy. Yes, she does. I also don't know how far away I have to be to be able to just like break the snowballs. Wakes would be the best gym to work at. You could swim all day while waiting for people to battle, and you can wear whatever the heck you want. Cleaning the pools would be a pain, though. Yeah. That's true. Well, this is my life now. There we go. Oh, ice puzzles. Everyone's favorite. break that one from the front this one um i don't know hey that was not okay well can i break this one <laughs> no I mean, I can try. I don't think so, though. No, I think I have to break it from the side. I think I have to get over to... I think I have to get to the spot in front of her. There. And then slide down. 
It is just a matter of doing it. Whoop, there we go. Ha. Huh. Oh, I didn't fight you. Okay. Hello. Quagsire? Just because he has Ice Beam, he's still not an Ice type, so... Do we make a wrong turn and find another Water Gem? That's the other problem with Ice types, is that there aren't that many. Does she not look six years old? You want to challenge Candace? Sure thing, I was waiting for someone tough. But I should tell you, I'm tough because I know how to focus. Pokemon, fashion, romance, it's all about focus, is it? Is, is fashion about focus? She's got some sausage link hair going on. Nyx is here to burn it all down. All these gym leaders are comp or the trainers are complaining about being cold. They're about to be very warm. Brunette Pippi Long stocking. <sighs> we can do this. Metacham. He has puffy pants. expect him to have a nice move. I mean, this is the ice gym, but even still. It's fine. It's fine. Hmm. We could use Boyne. We haven't seen Boyne in a while, but that ice punch would murder Boyne pretty fast, even if I could go first with Fly. So, um, 
Advil it is. Smack. How did Brick Break do that much on Advil? Shenanigans. You're gonna get murdered by your own freaking hail. Bomb of snow. Oh, a bomb of snow is grass. Problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Figured that was coming. Good job, Advil. Is that floaty horror what the diaper onion evolves into? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. Well. I might want to heal up Nyx. If I have to. Which I might. There are only 51 ice Pokemon currently in the games. Ice is the type with the fewest Pokemon. Yeah, that's what I thought. Which is kind of a bummer. It's an interesting type. A super potion. Oh, moo moo milk. Mm. Hyper potion. Yeah, you're gonna hit me twice in a row with Blizzard with that shitty accuracy. BS. BS. Well. GG, Razzle. Here, I was getting ready to switch. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, badge. The icicle badge. Okay, so we can finally use rock climb. If hail is up, it increases its accuracy. Oh, really? Oh, well, at least that would explain it. Avalanche. Her chibi form does not convey her, her actual age. I feel like that's, that's true for most NPCs, but definitely her. Well, no one can learn it, so F. Yeah, we did it. All right, let's go heal up.
Can I take this boat? Oh, no. I have to beat the Elite Four, I think, first. Anyway, I guess we should go do the thing we're supposed to do. You're here to see the lake Pokemon too? You must be bored to fight your way through the snow to get here. Yeah, I got nothing better to do. Ah! You're not getting away with this Team Galactic. Oh, are you finished already? Your Pokemon aren't bad, but you're laughably weak. She just pushes them into the water. You honestly thought you could save the Pokemon of the lake? Become the Pokemon champion? Dream on, little kid. But ew, it's so cold here. <laughs> Let's go back to the Veilstone HQ. Who's- Let's? Will you take him with you? Oh, don't I know you? We met in Eterna City. Listen, Team Galactic's gonna do something huge for everyone's sake. That's why you should keep out of Team Galactic's way. Don't come whining about poor Pokemon and other trivial junk like that. Don't waste your time t coming to our HQ in Veilstone. Now if you'll excuse me, thank you for telling me that that's where you'll be, dumbass. And Flubbin died of hypothermia that day. Yeah, that's right. I couldn't do anything against Team Galactic. The Pokemon called Uxie. It was suffering. I'm gonna get tougher. It's not about winning or losing. That's not good enough. I have to be stronger. Maybe if you'd kick your drug habit. Just a suggestion. Cyrus is supposed to be younger than Cynthia. I don't buy that. Cyrus looks like he's like 55. Head to Team Galactic's HQ. Where's the last gym? Sunny Shore, maybe? I wonder if I can go there. Probably not. Guy's probably still there. Cyrus is supposedly 28, really? He pulled some Voldemort shit and sold his soul for power. This is why you don't do that. Last gym is is in Sunny Shore, but you have to beat the story first. No, I just want to fight the. G well, that was interesting. Oh, Blaine. Point. 
Okay, I did heal. Can I? Haha! -ha. This is convoluted as fuck. Goodness. Wow, all that for Dream Eater. Was it worth it? No. Pulling oh Otter, thank you guys for the raid. What were you guys streaming? Oh, Boyne. Boyne's holding something. Well, thank you, Boyne. Can you, Boyne, if you could just get, thank you. Ooh, Hades, how's it going? How goes Hades? No, he's not gonna let me pass. He's sinking into the steps. Damn it. Okay, well. I guess I'll do the thing. I have to go beat Team Galactic. I just want my last bat. Good, good. The wheels were off at the end. What part are they at in Hades? We were just looking at cheeseburger lingerie. Some burger lingerie was involved. I have a lot of questions about that. Burger lingerie. <laughs> yeah, this is where I'm supposed to be. All right, let's go fight some bowl cuts. I need a key. Who has the key? Do you have the key? Oddly enough, Maddie wasn't on board. He wasn't on board the uh, cheeseburger lingerie. Hmm. Do you have the key? Hey, hero. Hey, it's you. I bet you don't remember me, but I sure remember you. You all look the same. Because of you, they took my Clefairy away. My partner called it quits and went back to his hometown. I don't know anything about any storage key. Oh, except you just pooped it out. Well, thank you for that. I'm gonna wash this off. Oh my god, I looked it up. I hate it. You looked up cheeseburger lingerie. <laughs> now you're gonna get recommendations. I have the key. Do I not? Was that not the key? What do I pick up then? I did. I picked up the key. Is it not for this? Is it for over here? Oh, good night, Danny. Hope you have a good night, too. How does one get to this boing? Oh. I just had to go in here. Okay. Lucy's going through a rough time right now. She came down long enough to have a little distraction from everything. Oh, I hope she's doing okay. 
Thank you for shouting out Bowling Otter DJM. Guys, go give them a follow. They are amazing. Is this not a teleportation station? Lingerie makes you think of a burger being smeared on you. Well, Post to oh, that's a good summary, Umbreons. <laughs> Is this supposed to teleport me? Seems like a teleporter, and yet, and I can't get through here to get to that one. I can finally get that. Whatever that is. Oh, Galactic Warehouse. Okay, so I probably just had to come over here. Alright. So first I want to get this. Burger stuff does nothing for you. Full incense. go whoa 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 hold it there do you have the key I do in fact have the key the storage key snapped off inside the keyhole okay well that's unfortunate how old was that key I've been with Team Galactic five years and haven't gotten a promotion. Well, what does that say about you? That's a sign to leave, sir. Yeah, no promotions? In five years? Maybe he's just a bad employee, who knows? Speaking of bad employees, you had one Pokemon. 
All right, Dwayne. This place is huge. Doing better than Michael Scott. Or not many people using the evolution though. Umbreons, did you say that we can go after the legendary after this? Like after doing the galactic building? Or do we need to get the last gym badge first? They tried to do a spinoff with Dwight and it didn't really catch on. The problem with Dwight is that he is very much like the kind of sidekick character. I think it might be hard for him to carry uh, a show on his own. He's sort of a good foil for whoever he's with. Alright, so I guess we're going upstairs. Down? Upstairs? Downstairs? Upstairs. The gruntiest of grunts doesn't even have a Pokemon. Wow. Why would you design it this way with these portals? These unlabeled portals. I didn't know he really did get a spin-off. There was an episode um, in the last season called The Farm that was supposed to kind of set up a spin-off for him. But um, it, it got canceled. Team Galactic makes no sense. They make Team Rocket seem professional. Ooh, Scald. Let me give that to Advil. They, w they also have lots of empty, useless hallways and no elevator. True. These buildings never make any sense. Still better than Team Flare. How long do you think it'll be till we get a Gen 5 remake? Wormpole. God Team Flare existed. To be honest, so did I. 2024, 
At the current pace, three or four years. Yeah, it makes sense. As long as they don't do this chibi style again, I hope they don't. <laughs> I really hope they don't. I'm I'm getting excited for legends though. Please don't let them use the chibi style though. Those characters deserve so much better. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Cascoon! Listen here. Take this rock. Unfortunately, they tend to not make sequels to, um, to, like, the spinoffs. I mean, we finally got a sequel to Pokemon Snap. That took forever. I mean, they do have a few mystery dungeon games, but there's a lot that they could do that they haven't. Like, I know people really like the GameCube uh, Coliseum, Pokemon Coliseum games. There's only two of those. Kind of curious, like, what they're going to do after Legends. Seems with the chibi style, they're targeting younger audiences. I guess that would be the, the reasoning for doing it. But I feel like at this point, they should realize that their fan base, while, yes, there are a lot of kids, there are also a lot of people who grew up with Pokemon who are now adults. And thus, they are the ones who have the money to spend on <laughs> the games. So you'd think that they would take that into consideration. As of now, I'm picking Cyndaquil as my starter. I haven't decided if I'm going to let Chap uh, vote on it or not. Because if not, I would probably go with Cyndaquil because I love Cyndaquil. Adult, yeah, adults buy more video games, exactly, because, you know, you can, you're in control of how you spend your money, whereas a kid, not so much. Still waiting for, sta still wanting for Stadium 3? That would be awesome. Even I, the person with, le with likely the least Pokemon experience here, I'm interested in Legends. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in what they do uh, with it, and I think... So far, the Pokemon that they've shown have been pretty interesting. Yeah, I'm surprised they just haven't, like, remade it, Joker. There's a lot of great games on the GameCube that I feel like... ...they could remake. I found a key. Oh, I think this is the first floor that we were on before. Yeah, there's that guy that never got promoted. Was hoping Mario Sunshine was the sign Nintendo was looking more into GameCube porting. Yeah, me too. Doors only open with a special key. Guess what? I have the key. Haha. -ha. You don't understand Team Galactic? No, I don't. You make no sense. If Metroid Prime HD ends up being real, I'll be very happy. And of course, Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. That would be really nice, especially because it's so expensive, it's hard to even get to play.
We don't have the Wii or the GameCube Fire Emblem games because they're so expensive. It is horrendous. Oh, a thousand year door. Yeah, I watched I watched Ika play that a long time ago. Ika, you should replay that so I can watch you play. <laughs> that was that was a good game. I have Path of Radiance on GameCube, never beat it. I heard it's hard. Sold mine like 15 years ago was one hundred dollars or so then. Mm-hmm. Yep, pretty pricey. But who knows? Maybe they'll. Oh, do you have levitate though? You might have levitate. Um. Who knows? Maybe we'll get more Fire Emblem games on the Switch. Fingers crossed. I can only hope. Yeah, it's pretty pricey, Darla. Honestly, GameCube games kind of in general are sort of expensive for, you know. They're getting harder to collect too. Doesn't Radiance have the issue where easy mode is actually normal and normal is hard? Path of Radiance is hard. All my fave characters would die on easy. Oh. <laughs> Radiance doesn't have casual mode either, so expect to reset a lot. Well, that's the thing. Like, if they, if they remade it for the Switch, they could also add casual mode, which would be nice for people who prefer to play that way. Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, I feel like I bought that. At some point. Yeah. I did. Hey, Stargazing. Your class just ended. Finally free from classes. Awesome. You just have final papers to do. That's awesome, Stargazing. I'm almost there. Welcome to uh, Team Galactic's HQ. Okay, so this is the start. There any doors turn on? Just gotta hope my phone won't die before I make it home. Aw. Dar is still shiny hunting Palkia? You were at 800 something, right? Oh, you're shiny hunting Palkia? Good luck. Hmm. Have you explored everywhere here? Now you gotta head through the main entrance. 
Oh, this key probably works for that. Okay. Oh god, now I gotta get out of here. You're at like 2700 2, resets? Stargazing. That's a lot of stargazing. Aren't you happy that you got Chimchar so quickly in comparison? Wasn't Chimchar like three or 400? Can you at least save right in front of the legendary? Cause that would save time. Or do you have to do a bunch of cutscenes? Gave up hope, but also I'm too deep to give up now. <laughs> oh. Are you sure Palkia isn't shiny locked? Um, I don't, I don't know if the legendaries are shiny locked or not. I would assume not. You can save right in front of Palkia. That's good. not shiny locked my friend got hers this morning oh nice how many did it take djm don't screech at me she stayed up all night The things we do for shiny Pokemon, let me tell you. A lot. Too much, probably. It's impressive. <laughs> She told me she lost count after 2000. Wow. Don't have the patience for shiny hunting. Never saw the point in using one. That's fair. Eco doesn't either. <laughs> Not his thing. However, I managed to one time get all souls and item drops in Castlevania Ari of Sorrow, and that also took hours so I can get it. Yeah, I really think everybody kind of has their own thing that they will waste hours and hours <laughs> doing. But somebody else would look at that and be like, no, nah, I can't do that. Mew, Jirachi, and Manaphy were locked. Well, that's a bummer. Why shiny lock? Why do it? Enter the room, kill the enemy, leave the room. Who knows? Yeah. I got tired of that in Kingdom Hearts Final Mix when I was trying to get all the items for like the Ultima weapon. That was a pain in the butt. Ubisoft games are built around wasting hours and hours. True.
The mythical Pokemon you get as gifts are the only shiny locked Pokemon in this gen. All of their Pokemon aren't. Spoon. You can even shiny hunt Darkrai and Shaman when their events are released? Really? Would it be like the same thing of resetting? I assume so. <coughs> it's different with item crafting for me. That's a that's good. I'm gonna be able to that's a good I'm able to use or sell later a shiny. I could just catch a regular one and lose nothing. Yeah, I probably have less patience for crafting things. Star also shiny hunted Drifloon. Cool. Yay, rest. I would not go to sleep in an evil base. Would not feel safe doing that. go. Can you go there? Where do you, where does the other one go? Taking a break on Drifloon since it's only on Friday and I'm trapped with Palkia. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, so there's nothing in here? I think there's an Easter egg in the second bed. Oh, really? It's a bed? It's a bed. Ensure the bed is unoccupied before getting into it. Team Galactic nap room. Well, they both just say to take a rest. We get a promotion if we put you down? Trying to kill me? Found a couple things with the dowsing machine here. I feel like the dowsing machine is a little annoying to use. Him, bandit frog. Yeah, I'm tired of looking at it. Everybody has one.
I refuse to use the dowsing machine. I walk and spam click A. That's what I do sometimes. <laughs> or if there's a spot that looks like it would have an item, I'll go over there and press A. <laughs> Forgot the dowsing app existed. Fair enough. I found so much shit on Mount Coronet since I spam clicked A on every rock. A tactic. one first. Okay, that led to some stairs. An elixir. I mean, I think they're taking naps there too, Wildcat. They got nothing better to do. All right, go this way. Besides not being promoted. <laughs> Yeah, it's not like they're out being promoted, so they might as well take a nap, right? Let's save. Ah, the 28-year-old. D, you must be the trainer I've been hearing about. The foolhardy one that's trying to stand up to Team Galactic. Although I'd hardly expected to see that the trainer is a mere child, I'd heard that our commander had a rough time with you. I know why you're here. I can sense it in you. It's about Uximi's spirit and his elf, correct? You want to save them. I no longer have any need for them. I am finished with them. If your heart aches to save them, go right ahead. I could care less. It will save me the trouble of disposing of them. But I must say, you are a remarkable specimen. Those Pokemon have nothing to do with you, do they not? But still, you came to rescue them out of pity. Such pitifully useless emotions. It's illogical and irrational. Pity and compassion are products of the weak and lacking human heart. So what'd you do, rip yours out? You were compelled to come here by such... Vacuous? Vacuous? Sentimentality. I'll make you regret paying heed to your heart. Some moisturizer would really help you. He looks even older now. <laughs> I 
Don't even get started. I have rocks. Cyrus is the worst written character in the original game since backstory was divided into pieces and some were even locked behind a limited time event. Really? have a nice theme. A nice music track. He does have an exciting Pokemon for being a boss. Yeah. His Golbat doesn't even like him. Not enough to evolve anyway. Maybe you should learn the meaning of friendship. Cyrus. They all evolve by the time you fight again. How? He told us he hates emotions. How is he going to become friends with his Golbat? The basis of your power is your compassion toward Pokemon. How wasteful. See? You're going to tell me that his Golbat's going to love him enough to evolve? I don't think so. Like all illusions, they fade over time until death banishes them forever. Who hurt you? Who hurt you, Cyrus? That is why I've abandoned all emotions as useless sentimentality. So you're a robot. Yeah, Master Ball. What, no Krogunk fail as a trainer? <laughs> He's got a sad backstory, but the game did him dirty. Well. Live your best life, buddy. His backstory involves parental neglect, trauma, death, and just overall abandonment issues. I mean, that doesn't give you an excuse to try to take over the world. Okay, you do that, buddy. After this building, we need to climb Mount Coronet from the Route 7 entrance near Oraburg. Okay. Hello? There's something suspended in a green fluid. Oh, what is it? What's in there? Your emotions bad is the most boring bad guy type thing. Uxie is sealed inside. It appears to be suffering. Can I let it out? You, you came all this way here just to save some Pokemon? Though it's nothing new, I can't say I understand our boss. Why would he let a kid like you come and go freely? Well, I kicked his ass, first of all. You've taken the trouble to come, let me welcome you. Consider a payback for, you insul for your insulting me at the lake. Oh, I get another fight, hooray. Why do all the galactic members have bad hair? It's part of the requirement. You have to have bad hair to be able to join them.
Ugh. He's got Toxicroak. Great. He's got a weird mustache. Not here for it. Well, bye, Bronzor. What makes you so tough? Uh, maybe because I have all six Pokemon? Okay, let's set them free. Our boss crafted a red chain from crystals he took from the three Pokemon. The red chain is what he needed to shackle something on Mount Coronet. That's all I know. Who knows what he's planning to do up there? Uh, you just vanished. Okay. Well, we did that. way out of here. Can I use an escape rope? Damn it. There's a- where? There's a master portal? It was blocked? Oh, back here. Ha! You're going to want to bring an escape rope with you to the mountain because once you're at the top, you have to travel all the way down by foot. Okay, well, we've got two, so. Oh, finally. I'm out of there. I survived. Get a new outfit. Looking cute. Torian Brandy, triple filtered, then introduced into the suit through an emergency induction port. That's a straw, Tally. Pants of blue. Thank you so much for the $50 tip. I rarely watch any streams live, but I've watched enough of your YouTube slash VODs that I figured it was time to throw some support your way. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying the VODs.
pants. Would you like to put that towards chocolate, regular, or strawberry milk? That is what we are doing this month for our jars. <laughs> Tolly! Tolly, best girl. In the old versions, you could use fly from the top floor to leave the mountain. Oh, but you can't anymore. You have to use an escape rope. The seam is better than it probably ought to be. Pokemon has really good music. If the answer is chocolate, the answer is always yes. I can do that. Thank you so much, Pan. All right, well, we've got a tie here. So we'll see. Here we go. So thank you so much again, Pants. And Chocolate has joined Strawberry in the lead. Regular Milk is sad and alone, but that's okay. This outfit glows? I feel like I should be in Tron. So apparently we want to be here. Do I need to go to Oraberg? And go from there, I guess? Seem very casino-ish. There is a, uh... There is a casino theme, Wildcat. So I'm assuming I need to surf. Protein. Forgot about the Mount Coronet maze. Oh, I don't want a maze. I don't need that. Got another escape rope. Mazes are up there with stealth levels. <laughs> For me, definitely. Where does Machoke get his belt? Like, he evolves from Machop. Where does the belt come from? It sort of looked like I could walk down there, but I have to go down this way. Handcrafted? Could be. It's part of his body. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to think about that. It's hair that looks like... No! <laughs> No, I don't want to think of Machoke's hairy belt. It's gonna be a lot of walking.
All right. I don't think I have a lot of repels, so do what we can. Yeah, exactly, Eco. Inappropriate. Oh, no. Evolution did Graveler dirty. It gave Machoke a belt. <laughs> Not Graveler a bra. <laughs> Always had questions about Machoke's red fleshy bits on the arms. Oh, no. <laughs> I think that's supposed to be its veins. No, oh, you're here. Great. <laughs> Wildcat. I mean, Poliwhirl's swirls are its guts. Someone told me that and I didn't need to know that and now I can't not know it. I just thought it was a little cute design, but no, it's its guts. <laughs> ah. That's what it is. I think the room you left had a special wall with an image on it if you came here early in the originals. There were pieces of it on the floor after you beat Galactic Headquarters. Oh, interesting. Uh, hi. you and your levitate. My brain always reads them being raw muscle hanging out of its arms. <laughs> Given how weird Pokemon lore is, I have no reason to believe it's not the case. So like... He's squished in there and his muscles are <laughs> seeping out. Is that... Is that how you're picturing him? Because, I mean, I would believe that too. Pokemon lore has some weird stuff going on. Alright, get out of the way. Ah, I wore the perfect outfit for this. Uh... No. No, oh, I could go up there. What's the point of this? I have to go up there. Where its skin is torn open? <laughs> I mean, I could see it. The human type Pokemon are weird to begin with. Yes, they are. Okay, so we hit, we can go in there. Or we can go over here. Or we can go up here. It's too many options. I found a nugget.
There, these are a lot of different ways to go. I see it as him having lungs in his arms to pump extra air in them to make them bigger. Great. The chair is a versatile beaver. <laughs> um. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess we'll serve. I'm sorry, versatile Badoof. That, that's a little better. Oh, I don't have. I don't have waterfall. Zubat, why are you in the water? Here's my great strategy, Dwayne. We're gonna run. Okay, so I guess this is not the right way, so we'll head over to this other cave. the grass. <coughs> I love how you're finding shit in literal rocks, right? That's where all the items are hidden. Just in, in rocks. His arms look like sausages. Or something else that's less appropriate. Don't like that. Now that I've seen it, I don't like it. <sighs> I'm never gonna be able to unsee that. See you later, Kiwi. No, they're bringing, he has another one. <laughs> They had to know. Inappropriate. your gross Pokemon and get away. <laughs> okay. Just me looking for free stuff. Team Galactic is all powerful. Are you, though? I've beaten all of your leaders multiple times. Gold bat. I did not mean to do that. Well, it's fine. We flinched. A 
Of all the moves you could have given Golbat at this point, you kept Astonish? This is why you're not going to be promoted. Just like that scientist. Ooh, Giga Drain. Yeah, I'll play Synthesis with that. Well, bye. It's for type coverage? Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm sure that's what he's thinking. Hello. You know how some Pokemon just look like they want death? This is one of them. Oh, another escape rope, okay. Clefairy. Okay, free stuff. Oh, these are all breakable. Well, you don't need to break these. There's also entrance there. What's over here first? Breaking rocks used to ha have the chance of giving you hard scales, but I'm not sure if they do in this game. Hmm. Over. Nova, get out of here. Okay, so we also have this entrance. Also used to summon Geodude Graveler Nose Pass to battle against. problem. What's that other way back there? Well, thus far, I've gotten nothing from breaking rocks. Let's check down here before we go up there. It's just you? <coughs> just you in here, buddy?
Oh, you just... The other room is optional, so you can skip it. It does have battles for the experience, though. The other room or this one? This room used to be Regice's room, but I'm not sure what it's used for in this game. Well, I guess it's just for this guy to stand here. This cave is filler. It sure seems that way. <coughs> Let me use that super repel. Hey, listen, do you realize you're breaking hearts by being successful? Good. That's what I aim to do. What? <laughs> These grunts make as much sense as kids arguing on a playground. I mean, that is essentially what they are. They are just kids on a playground. Heart broken. Goal achieved. Can't believe you chased me here. I'm gonna break your heart. Oh look, another crow gunk. I've never seen such a Pokemon in my life. Keita Nash and the Heartbreakers. Yeah, that's me and my Pokemon. <laughs> I'm gonna start a band. Two of these. What's the last one gonna be? A gold bat? Ah. Oh. A butt. A literal butt. 
I should have known. is in here that wants to be sad wait I can go this way hmm okay it'd be great if I could find some repels would love that. You have some repels, sir? I'm hopelessly lost. Please, please don't pay attention to a lowly grunt without any Pokemon. So I guess Regice used to be in there. And now he's just like blocking the way. Kneecappers and the Heartbreakers are both sub-organizations of the Kita Nash gang. <laughs> oh, the Kneecappers. One of my favorite creations. I have to say, if I was playing this, all the sobbing for HMs to get around would be driving me up a wall. Well, literally. But... Yeah, imagine that, and then also imagine your Pokemon having to waste a slot, like a move slot, for the HM. And, if they learned a new move, you couldn't save over an HM. You had to have them deleted by the move deleter. He used to block the way to Regice's postgame. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, HMs were the worst. Especially if it was useless. At least Surf is a decent move. But you have several, like Flash, that you don't really want. He tried. from Flyer and the only good HMs. Yeah, at least the moves were decent. It's especially annoying once you get to like Gen 3 or 4 because there are so many of them. There are so many water ones specifically. Surf, Whirlpool, Waterfall. Dive. Fog and Flash were the literal worst, although Flash did get demoted to a TM, so it was not as bad. How many of you are there? Too many. How does Team Galactic keep getting people to join their cause? Waterfall is pretty good for a physical water Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, it's not a bad move. It's more of just like there's so many water HMs that it got annoying to have all of them. <coughs> I'm 
wildcat. Mass brainwashing. Uh, yeah, maybe they just recruit through Twitter. That's how it happens. Facebook. <laughs> Can you imagine? Remember using strength on Raichu in one run? It did well, but keeping a normal type attack did hamper its usability. Yeah. Especially in Gen 3 where there's so much water to travel through. Yeah, that annoyed me about Gen 3. Cyrus put an ad up on MySpace. He's got that MIDI version of an Evanescence song on his homepage. They would use Minions memes on Facebook to sway people. And then you go to Thanksgiving and your aunt is like, man, I gave all my Pokemon to that Team Galactic because they're really trying to change the world. And you're just like, oh my God. Although, they would only take your Pokemon if it was a Crow Gunk. Or a Golbat, so. Yeah, I think of all the water HMs, Whirlpool was probably the worst. You don't want to go to Christmas dinner because your crazy Team Galactic uncle is going to be there <laughs> trying to recruit. <coughs> He's like, you're eight now, Jimmy. You're old enough. <laughs> Maybe it's just a pyramid scheme. Maybe, you know, if you recruit two people, then you get you get perks. Like maybe you get an extra Pokemon. Like the more people you recruit, the more Pokemon they give you for free. Oh god, Aunt Susan is pushing her MLM again. Fear pillar. Well, we're gonna save, I guess. Something huge is gonna happen, I think, maybe. Right? Don't meddle around. Of course you're going to, aren't you? That's why the two of us will team up to take you down to the ground. You think so? It's a smash stage. Oh no, not this thing again. Oh, it's arms. I don't like it. I mean, it's not as bad as Cradilly, but still. You've been trapped here the past 40 hours. Oh, stargazing. Have you really been looking for 40 hours? I mean, 2,700 resets. You, you might. Determined to get a shiny Palkia, even if it kills me. 
I think I'd rather take my chances in the den. In Sword and Shield. Look, another crow gunk. Hmm. I'm using an app that counts time and encounters. It's been like 40 hours. Oh my god, I start using. Listen, it's a full-time job and it's very difficult. <laughs> Look, I will buy these crunts some different Pokemon at this point. Well, that was pathetic. Yeah, it was. Save again. Now all will end and everything will begin. With this red chain, I will pry open the portal to another dimension. <laughs> I commend that you unleash your power for me. Dialga, the mythical Pokemon and the master of time. This all sounds like BS, buddy. Hey, Dialga. It's hard to take you seriously with your Funko Pop head. <laughs> this will bring about the destruction of all things. With everything gone, there will be no fighting and no strife. Can you feel time distorting? Only I can choose to stop it. Can you feel time distorting? This is the mythical Pokemon that created Sinnoh. Dialga, the ancient deity of time. This world cannot be molded into the ultimate world I seek. It's far easier to create an entirely new world than to change this one. A new world in which I am the ruler of all things. I shall become a deity. All right. I can. It's just radiating. It's fine. I can. My 40 hours felt like a century. Do you want to trade tonight after you catch or wait until next stream? Uh, probably wait till the beginning of next stream, Umbreon's. There's no need to rush. I can understand you want to battle our boss real bad, but you'll have to go through me first. After all, you've made me look bad more times than I care to remember. And I'll be next. No one cares, Jupiter. Hold on one second. Don't you start the party without me. Oh, man. He got here so fast because he was... I guess he has not kicked his drug habit yet. Well, you... Okay. The fuck is this kid doing here? You can certainly feel time because your back certainly hurts more than it did when you were younger. <laughs> I'm not sure we can blame that on Dialga. Oh, they probably have Levitate. I trust nothing. I can, however, blame it on Flubbin. Yes, you can. Get out of here if you're confused, Ray.
God damn it, Flubbin the third. Why is your Munchlax still not evolved yet? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Good job, Nyx. I accidentally killed like three of Flubbin's Pokemon in this fight. Accidentally, Umbreon. <laughs> you sure about that? Are you sure it wasn't on purpose? For legal reasons, it was an accident. <laughs> He has a Snorlax when you fight him right before the Elite Four. Well, it's about time. Granted, that doesn't help us now. Well, Flubbin, you're useless. I killed his Munchlax, Buizel, and Star Raptor. Well. Squish. That did nothing. Goodness. Oh, well, finally let that thing evolve. To Flubbin's credit, his Munchlax is doing much better compared to the DS games. About time he did something. That kid's name is actually Flubbin. His name is Flubbin the Third. Something horrible happened to Flubbin the Second. Poor Nyx is just being poisoned. They both have gold bats. Get out of here. Come on, Razzle. At least he heals you after this fight. That is nice. All 
I will give it to Infernape. It looks a lot better than Chimchar. Like, I prefer it to <coughs> Chimchar. Which is interesting, because Grookey kind of goes the other way, whereas I think Grookey is <coughs> uh, pretty cute and then becomes a monstrosity. <laughs> Yes, he is our rival. Sadly. You don't get healed before Dialga, though? Okay. Shut up, Flubbin. It's your show now. I'm not going to do anything. What was the point of that? What was the point of you showing up here? Oh, Dialga, this is. Eat him. Just chomp. Eat him. <laughs> Fantastic, beautiful. It's the creation of a new galaxy, my new world. Well, it's all fun and games until the Reapers arrive. What? That one has sausage hair. He's like, fuck this, I'm out, pretty much. Oh! <laughs> the shook face. Hey, Dialga. Perfection. Joker, thank you for the three dollars. And on that day, Cyrus's plans for world domination were denied. Not by a ten-year-old, but by the very Pokemon he tortured. That's right. That noise was perfectly timed. Uh, Joker, where would you like to put that? What kind of milk is your fave? How does Flubbin heal you? Does he just throw potions at you <laughs> or have magic healing power? He has magic powder. I don't know if it's healing. These legendary edition reapers look weird. <laughs> Throw me in space? I prefer mint milk. Mint milk? I can throw you in space. I don't think I've ever had that. Alright, well, Joker, Joker's gonna be out in space then. <laughs> Mint milk ban them. <coughs> there you go, Joker, out in space. I hope you brought a helmet. Shout out to Cyrus's face. Mint milk is a St. Patrick's Day thing? I don't think I've ever had that before. I don't think I knew that existed. Interesting, though. I would try it. I would definitely try it. 
Now she's going to ask me to find mint milk for her. Yes, I am, Eco. That's your new task. <laughs> find mint milk. <laughs> the red chain, it crumbled away to nothing. But why? Why would Miss Spirit, the Pokemon of Lake Verity, appear by your side? I don't know. Maybe because you captured all of them. They're not going to work for you. But never mind that. It's all destroyed. My galaxy is gone. I won't allow this. I will capture those three again and craft another red chain. Good luck. But before I even think about that, I'm going to completely crush you. Are you? That cut back to this face was good. It was perfect. Someone just donated Mario Power Tennis to my apartment's free shit pile. Really? Well, that's cool. Oh, wow. His Pokemon evolved. That was pretty quick. That was pretty quick. Melt mint chip, mint chocolate chip ice cream, and you're good. You're saying that's the same thing. Hello, Gyarados. Mm, yes, I did see that coming, but. do that. Gyarados fell straight down. <coughs> Come on, Razzle. Get ready to eat shit, Cyrus the old man. Is it only- is- is mint milk only available around St. Patrick's Day? I checked, it doesn't have the game. They only donated the case and manual. Oh, okay. Still though, case and manual. I read a comic with a haunch crow in it named Matthew. Legit human names are weird on Pokemon. What are you saying about Dwayne? Still call shenanigans. I don't think his gold bat would have evolved for him. This Pokemon haunts my dreams from its smash appearances. Weavile. You're not Boyne. Insulted Dwayne Bannon. <laughs> Mars and Jupiter loved it. That must be it. There's no way Cyrus could have made him evolve. This cannot be. It's not possible that I lose. Well. <coughs> I mean, you can do that if you want, but it's not going to save you. Don't get how people are hot for his skull face. I... I... Listen, I can appreciate a good set of cheekbones. Uh, this is not the look. Not for me, anyway. Oh, and now we got a super potion.
I won't accept this. Well... What is truly the ultimate to you? What do you consider perfection? The most important thing, what shines the brightest? Telling you is meaningless, but I will not give up. I'll become a deity one day and I will make the ultimate mine. All right. Bye. Hi, Dialga. Now he's ugly and I'm sad. <laughs> Stargazing. Dialga, the master of time. It's impossible to tell if it's enraged or saddened. What are you doing here? But to me, Tiago appears to be waiting for you. Seems to be challenging you as a test. Go on, face up to Dialga, listen to its heart, understand its thoughts. Dialga's out of control after being dragged out by the red chain and forced to use its power. Dialga seems to be trusting you to stop it. Could I, could I just ran into Flub in the third. Oh, did you? He said he believed in you. He said you could get the job done. Yeah, I bet that's what he said. I think so, too. You gotta help that Pokemon. It's suffering from being dragged out by Team Galactic. You're right. Hey, Dialga. Same to you. Well, it's not shiny. Darn. <laughs> well, this is fun. Poor Dwayne. Don't use Pokeballs if you want to finish quicker than two hours. have much TBH what is it steal something I don't know what type are you what type are you buddy well Dialga must recharge if it was shiny first try it would have been glorious yes but I think it might have made you cry <laughs> The stage is much prettier than Palkia's. Oh, is it? Steel Dragon. Okay. Well, Razzle can chip away a little bit. For some reason, they decreased Palkia and Dialga's catch rate. Eh, they seem to like doing that. Used to be 30, now it's 3! Mm, we might be using the Master Ball. We'll see how this goes. J just, just one Pokeball for you. Just for you, Umbreon's. <laughs> Come on, Dialga, you didn't want to get in that Pokeball. <laughs> Not right. I don't know if this would count as a cave. I don't... Bad time to pass up on Thunder Wave? Yeah. Worst comes to worst, I'll just use the Master Ball. I'm not that worried about it. At least Dialga doesn't have a healing move like Palkia. Yeah. True. <clears throat> Yeah, we don't we don't have too much here. Dialga must have been insulted with the Pokeball. I caught Uxi and his elf in Pokeballs and Me Spirit and a Master Ball. Do they have as bad of catch rates? Yeah, I don't have a timer ball. Ooh, 
We were doing pretty well with that Ultra Ball, and then Diago was a butthole. So. Dialga. The spirit is a roaming Pokemon, so it's a fucking pain to catch. <laughs> Great. Eh, no promises on that one. Well. Let's see here, Dialga. Who's ready for two hours of trying to catch Dialga in a Pokeball? Damn it, I was really hoping that was gonna be the time. It was so close. Time for only Pokeballs, right? Dialga, your attack doesn't need to raise. You're you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Keep insulting it, that might be the key. <laughs> That's hurtful, Dialga. You look like a messed up car ornament. Wow, got him. What do you use, Umbreons? Oh, Boyne. Dialga, come on now. How about a heal ball? Do you want a heal ball? <laughs> Rude. That was the only one I had, Dialga. Not nice. It was a good attempt, Boyne. Got that long alien head thing going on, except its face is a 747 cockpit! <laughs> Finally made it home. Now I can resume restarting for Palkia. Oh god. Dargazing. I... You gotta let us know how many it ends up being. Nuzzled it to paralyze it, and then every five balls or so I had to weaken it again because of its healing. Oh yeah, because you were going for Palkia. Advil's like, yeah, what? How about a dive ball? <laughs> yeah, okay, I get it. It's stats raised. Definitely waiting for that to be it. It took you 150 balls after resetting a couple times. What did you end up catching it in? What a bitch. That's okay, we saved. Not that worried about it. Who knows? It could be shiny this time. <laughs>
I mean, our odds are great. Oh, you were using Pokeballs, Umbreon's? Shiny hunting Dialga. I would cry, but I would also be happy for you. It would be a mixture of emotions. Buddy. Poor Dwayne. Dwayne tries. Are you going to slash a rock? Hmm. 